Welcome to Stars Sports News, your ultimate source for the latest, greatest, and hottest stories in the world of sports. We're thrilled to have you here, so make sure to subscribe our channel. Let's dive right into today's top stories. Varane confident as Man United face City in FA Cup final. Rafael Varane, the Manchester United defender, expressed confidence ahead of their FA Cup final clash against rivals Manchester City. While acknowledging Erling Haaland's talent, Varane emphasized that United doesn't fear him, as City's threat is spread across the entire team. Varane highlighted the importance of nullifying Kevin De Bruyne's influence on Haaland's game. United aims to end City's bid for a treble, rekindling their winning mentality. Sergio Ramos departs Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain has announced the departure of Spanish defender Sergio Ramos. After two seasons with the club, Ramos, who joined on a free transfer from Real Madrid, leaves as his contract expires. PSG president Nasser al khelaifi praised Ramos's leadership and professionalism during his time in Paris. Djokovic adjusts to physical challenges at French Open. Novak Djokovic, the two-time champion, acknowledged the physical toll on his body after a grueling French Open match against Alejandro Davidovich Fokina. Despite facing various injuries and discomfort, Djokovic prevailed in straight sets. The Serbian star admitted that his body responds differently now and must adapt to this new reality as he pursues a record 23rd Grand Slam title. Guardiola acknowledges improved Manchester United ahead of FA Cup final. Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola recognizes that Manchester United, their opponents in the FA Cup final, are a significantly stronger team than the one City defeated earlier in the season. Guardiola emphasized the importance of performing at their best in the one-off match. City is aiming for a historic treble, with the Champions League final against Inter Milan yet to come. Guardiola praised United manager Eric Ten Hag's achievements and expressed readiness for a potential penalty shootout. Pope and Duckett's centuries propel England towards victory over Ireland. Ollie Pope and Ben Duckett showcased their batting prowess as they scored record-breaking centuries for England in their warm-up test against Ireland at Lords. Pope's lightning-fast double century and Duckett's career-best 182 propelled England to declare at 524 for four. Debutant Josh Tung made an impact with three wickets as Ireland struggled at 97 for three by stumps, still trailing by 255 runs. Afghanistan clinch opening ODI, defeat Sri Lanka by six wickets. In an impressive display, Afghanistan secured a six-wicket victory over Sri Lanka in the first ODI of their three-match series. Ibrahim Zadran's stellar 98-run innings played a crucial role in guiding Afghanistan to chase down the target of 269 with 19 deliveries remaining. Youngest tennis star Alcaraz, I'm a well-rounded player. Carlos Alcaraz, the talented young tennis player from Spain who became the world's number one at 19 years old, spoke confidently about his skills after advancing to the fourth round of the Grand Slam. Alcaraz described himself as a versatile player who can excel in all aspects of the game. With his recent US Open victory, he is seen as a top contender to win the French Open. Svitolina battles past Blinkova, advances to fourth round at French Open. Elena Svitolina, former French Open quarter-finalist, showcased her resilience as she overcame Anna Blinkova in a hard-fought match to secure a 2-6, 6-2, 7-5 victory. Svitolina, who recently returned to the WTA Tour after giving birth, will now face Daria Kasatkina in the next round. Nadal undergoes hip muscle surgery, represents career challenge. Rafael Nadal, the 14-time Grand Slam champion, is undergoing surgery for a hip muscle injury that has kept him out of action since January. The Spanish tennis star's representative confirmed the surgery, and Nadal's future in the sport remains uncertain. Kipyugan shatters 1,500 meters world record, proclaims, anything is possible. Kenya's Faith Kipyugan finally achieved her long-awaited goal as she shattered the women's 1,500 meters world record at the Florence Diamond League meeting. Clocking in at an astonishing 349.11, Kipyugan surpassed Genzibi Dibaba's previous record by almost a second, solidifying her status as a dominant force in middle-distance running. 
that's all the time we have for today's sports roundup. Thanks for watching Star Sports News. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest sports action.